girls to a class of social studies and we are going to be doing the first chapter that's history history is the study of our past of the times for which we were not present for which we have not seen so how do we go about with its study it is the study of our past and this study is divided into two parts one is prehistory and the other is history prehistory refers to that period of time for which there are no written records available there is nothing people didn't know to write during those time so how do we come to know that something or some people existed during those times we get some knowledge about prehistory from materials like pottery coins tools and weapons that have been removed from the earth by archaeologists and mind you it's a very difficult task that do it very carefully right next history coming to history is that period of time for which written records are available and these written records are mostly inscriptions inscriptions children means writing not with a pen or pencil but with sharp edged tools they were engraved dug on rocks and clay tablets clay tablets means blocks of soil or rocks right so now you will say but why what is the need for me to study this history i'm not interested but come to the point why we are here today how we are here today helps us to be understanding to be understood sorry that's how we come to know that how the people before us lived and how we have reached here to today so you must have known that people earlier our ancestors first they lived on hill tops on tree tops and on and in caves later on they came together and found that life was much better living together then later on came the invention of fire and so started the formation of families the formation of societies yes and the formation of groups of people different people this came in for a better living and this helped people socially economically and culturally and so was this change for a better living this thinking for a better living is called renaissance this renaissance did not happen all in one time in one go it happened in different times different periods of history right so that is why we need to compartmentalize we need to divide history into different periods so that we don't get confused and we are able to understand them better i would like to you to see some pictures these are inscriptions on clay tablets right they were dug with sharp instruments on clay or rock tablets then you have coins and you can see the inscriptions there then you have an old building the monument and you can see on the pillars there are inscriptions when you go inside also you can see inscriptions and you come to know how the people during those times lived and here there's an old site and you can see people working these are archaeologists they're digging very carefully and giving us facts about what existed before us so i hope you understood this and you like this lesson together for thank you